Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this awesome logo in the vector in cap. This tutorial was actually requested by one of my subscribers, Humble Line. He said, awesome bro. You should do a vector in tutorial. It has a shape builder tool. How cool. I've been using this app for like two days, and I would say it needs a lot of updates, but I like it. So without further ado, let's get started. Click this plus icon to start a new document. You want to zoom out your document to see the whole canvas or fit the screen. The first thing we're going to do is add a grid. Click right here. Toggle grid. So over here it shows 25 pixels. We're going to change it to 30 pixels. I'm going to import my color palette for this logo. Head over to menu and import. Now take your circular ellipse tool, make sure these two are turned on. Click right in the middle and drag to make a perfect circle. I'm going to move this a bit up and left so each side of the circle meets the grid. Duplicate this circle. Hold this red little square and drag inwards to make another circle. Take your line tool and draw a perfect line from here to here. Duplicate it and move it to the side of the little circle.
duplicate again and rotate it by holding this. Drag to the side and move it to the bottom of the first circle. Duplicate again, and move it to the bottom of the little circle. Select everything and take your Shape Builder tool. Turn this off and this on. I'm going to toggle off the grid. All you have to do here is move through any line you want to join. When the line turns blue like this, it means you just built a shape. Repeat the same step to the circle inside. Good, but we don't need this, so we are going to get rid of it. Let's give this shape a color and see what happens. No, we don't want this. Undo and with the transform tool selected. Select the first shape and turn this on to select multiple shapes. Click on the Pathfinder tool and click Exclude. Now let's give it a color and see what happens again. Oh cool, we made it, this is what we want. Undo this step. Now select everything and duplicate. Move it halfway to the bottom of the first shape. Select the first shape and move it to this side. We're going to get rid of this part of the shape. Select everything and subtract to get rid of this part. Now it's time to give our logo a color. 
Select the gradient tool and click on the upper shape. Now we have a straight line with a circle on each side. Click one of these circles and click right here to bring down the color panel. Click on the dropper icon and select color from your color palette. Repeat the same step to the other side of the circle. And when you are done, repeat the same steps to the other shape.
Time to give the background or document a color. Click right here, take your dropper tool and choose a background color from your color palette. We are done. We just created a logo using Vector Incap. If you like my video please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't miss any of my videos I'll be uploading in the future. Thanks for watching.